Apparently Marxists even want to live in posh LA neighborhoods. As protests broke out across the US in the name of Black Lives Matter movement, the group's co-founder Patrice Coolers went on a real estate shopping spree, purchasing about 4 or 5 properties worth well over 3 million dollars. Most recently, she dropped 1.4 million dollars on a mini compound in LA's Topanga Canyon area, just a short drive from Malibu, and no doubt after this spending, Patrice is under fire. Today we're going to take a look at her controversial real estate portfolio. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Patrice Coolers is an artist, activist and co-founder of the Black Lives Matter movement, also creating the hashtag in 2013. The BLM Global Network amassed $90 million or more in donations last year, but it's unclear what money or salary Patrice is paid exactly. While Black Lives Matter released a statement saying that Miss Cooler serves as an executive director in a volunteer capacity and does not receive a salary or benefits, most just aren't buying it. They also went on to state, Patrice has received a total of $120,000 since the organization's inception in 2013 for duties such as serving as spokesperson and engaging in political education work. Patrice did not receive any compensation after 2019. Whether this is true or not, Patrice has also inked a multi-year production deal last year with Warner Brothers and has a second book set to be released in fall. When news broke out about her real estate spending, some fellow activists were taken aback, including Hank Newsom, the head of BLM in New York City, calling for an independent investigation to see how the global network spends its money. Patrice's recent purchases in Topanga Canyon sparked further criticism too. The 2,370 square foot property has soaring ceilings and canyon views and two structures on a quarter acre of land. But the location is what really has people talking. The BLM movement has openly opposed capitalism and advocated for black communities. However, statistics show Topanga's residents are only 1.9% black and 88% white. Journalist Katie Grimes asked, was it ever really about improving black lives or just her own on the backs of BLM? And many are asking where the $1.4 million came from. What Coolers really proves is that most people want to live somewhere nice, even Marxists. They don't want to live in inner city slums. But these are just opinions of those online, and so it's an ongoing thing. I guess only time will tell how Patrice amassed all that money for million dollar properties, but until then, we're gonna check them out. Hey guys, it's Karen. I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I noticed that 95% of you guys watching aren't subscribed so be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for all the best celebrity house tours and more. Today we're diving into the real estate shopping spree of Black Lives Matter co-founder Patrice Coolers and checking out the new property she bought in Topanga as well as her four other houses from Georgia to the Bahamas. As always don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. recent news, a secluded mini compound in Topanga Canyon was sold for $1.4 million to none other than Patrice Can Coolers. Located 15 minutes from the commons of Calabasas and just a little further from Malibu, the modestly sized compound sits on about a quarter of an acre of land with two structures. Topanga Canyon is a rustic and somewhat private neighborhood and Patrice's new home spans about 2,400 square feet. There's a separate one bed, one bath apartment with private entryway and living room with kitchenette attached to the main house, while the smaller structure on the property is a freestanding cabin, which looks ideal for an office space. In the main house, there are three beds and two baths, and interiors feature bamboo floors and a spacious open floor plan. There's a sprawling combined living room, dining area, and kitchen with vaulted ceilings decked out in pine, as well as a whitewashed brick fireplace as the focal point in the living room. Here, there are also a ton of skylights to bring in the sun, and the kitchen is updated, but nothing too impressive. This great room also leads out to the expansive backyard through glass sliders. Two guest bedrooms are accompanied by a bathroom in the hallway, and where the master bedroom has a vaulted and wood clad ceiling, sitting area, and more glass doors to outside. Out back, there aren't many notable features aside from the freestanding cabin or office. While there is natural beauty thanks to the trees and mountains surrounding it, the backyard doesn't offer much except a covered patio for dining and a small deck. There's a ton of space though, so renovations are very possible. While this property might not look lavish compared to celebrity standards, some critics argue that living in a home worth over a million dollars is at odds with Patrice's social justice mission. But if this purchase upsets you, wait until you see the rest of her home. 
As I mentioned, Patrice already had a real estate portfolio started, having snagged three other homes in the US alone for about $3.2 million according to property records. She started her buying spree in LA back in 2016, a few years after the Black Lives Matter movement gained worldwide traction thanks to the hashtag she created. That year, Patrice bought a home in Inglewood, California for $510,000 with three beds and 1.5 baths, which would now be worth around 800K. She also added her wife, co founder of BLM in Canada, Janaya Khan, to the deed last year. Then in 2018, Patrice and her wife bought a four bedroom home in South Los Angeles in a multi ethnic neighborhood, paying about 600K. This house spans only about 1,725 square feet, but the worth of the property has since climbed and the interiors look fresh and updated with dark hardwoods and white furnishings. Next, the couple set their sights on Georgia, acquiring yet another estate in early 2020 for over 415k after Patrice's best selling memoir was published. The custom ranch sits on 3.2 acres of rural land in Conyers, Georgia, a suburb about 24 miles from downtown Atlanta. The property boasts a private airplane hangar with studio apartment just above it and a 2,500 foot paved grass community runway for small airplanes. The home offers three beds and three baths, as well as features like an indoor swimming pool and separate RV shop where you can fix mobile homes, small planes, and more. Patrice also allegedly was eyeing a property in the Bahamas located in a super exclusive resort where the likes of Justin Timberlake and Tiger Woods have owned retreats. Luxury townhomes and apartments at this beachfront Albany resort just outside Nassau are priced from $5 million and up, according to an agent. The elite resort is spread out on 600 oceanside acres and boasts amenities like a private marina, designer golf course, and more. It's essentially only a place for the super successful and wealthy to buy property. While it's unclear if Patrice ended up buying a property at this exclusive island retreat, her interest in the purchase alone just shows how far she's come from the Van Nuys neighborhood in LA where she grew up with her two brothers and younger sister. In her memoir, she described growing up in a housing project near Sherman Oaks in a two-story tan-colored building with peeling paint and a gate that doesn't close. The four children were mostly raised by Patrice's single mother who worked 16 hour days to support them. All right, so I think I'm gonna wrap up this house tour here. With all the controversy circling around Patrice Cooler's multiple real estate purchases, you've now got a glimpse at the properties for yourself. The Black Lives Matter movement co-founder is being labeled a bit of a hypocrite after her latest $1.4 million home purchase in the fancy Topanga Canyon neighborhood of LA, and we've come to learn that she's no stranger to the real estate rodeo either. I mean, the Black Lives Matter's donations amassed at least $90 million in 2020 alone. That's a lot of dough. So I can understand why people are wondering what's happening with it. While Patrice does have a reported deal with Warner coming up in the near future, as well as a best-selling book and another in the works, you still might question how she bought up to four or possibly even five properties. Patrice's salary and net worth is largely unknown since BLM tends to keep this type of information under wraps. All we can do is wonder and see if any more more news surfaces about Patrice's spending habits. But what did you guys think about this video? Do you think it's weird that she went on a real estate shopping spree or not? Let me know in the comments. Also tell me what you think about Patrice's properties like the Georgia Ranch and the Topanga Canyon home she just bought. Do you like them? Which was your fave? I think I like the Topanga Canyon spot and the indoor pool at her Georgia home even if it's on the small side. Her Topanga house has a huge backyard perfect for a pool to be installed but if she does that she might just be under even more fire than she already is. Anyways, tell me your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and tell me whose house tour you want to see next on this channel. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!